In this video, we are going to calculate the speed of a gas. This is often referred to as RMS speed, meaning root mean square speed. This is very close to the average speed of a gas. In this equation, T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin. And so the higher the temperature, the faster the gas will travel. So anytime we use temperature in a calculation, that's got to be in Kelvin. And the lower or the cursive M is the molar mass. So the heavier a gas is, or in other words, the bigger the number in the denominator, the smaller the answer is going to be. So the heavier a gas is, the slower its speed is going to be. And the molar mass is very easy to calculate using the formula for the gas and the periodic table. But since our speed uh, is going to be in meters per second and R has the joule unit in it, the molar mass must be in kilograms per mole. So we'll work this out with all the units. And we'll see that. So to convert from grams to kilograms, we move the decimal three places to the left. And the R constant, the universal gas law constant R that we're going to use is the SI unit, 8.314 joules per mole per degree Kelvin. So if you have had some experience using different gas laws, we may, you may have used an R value that was 0 0.08206, and that is a liter atmosphere energy unit per mole per degree Kelvin. So it's very common in introductory chemistry courses to use this R value. So you may have been using that when we calculate the speed of a gas, it's essential that we use the correct gas constant for that. So if we use an example, let's calculate the RMS speed of oxygen gas. And we'll say at room temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius. So we'll work out this example. And so our temperature here, in order to get from Celsius to Kelvin, we add 273. So room temperature in Kelvin is 298. That's a good number to remember. The molar mass of oxygen is two times what oxygen weighs. One oxygen atom weighs 16 grams. So remember the molar mass comes from the periodic table and the formula. So one oxygen weighs 16. So two oxygen atoms is going to give us 32 grams per one mole. But since our R value has the joule unit in it, we're going to have to convert this to kilograms. So that's 0 0.032 kilograms per mole. So we'll need that T value. We will need the capital M molar mass value. And we'll use this R constant as well. If you've had physics, you know that the joule is the energy unit, the SI energy unit that's used. And a joule is a newton, a unit of force, times a meter. And a newton, the force unit in physics, is a kilogram meter per second squared. So our mass unit, kilogram, is basically built into the newton unit. And then the newton unit is built into the energy unit of joule. So because of this, our molar mass needs to be in kilograms. So uh, this meter here would also show up there as well. So when I use this formula, 
the square root of 3RT over the molar mass. I will put all the units in and we'll see that the speed is going to end up being the square root of a meter squared per second squared. So let's plug all those values in the formula for oxygen. So this is 3 and then our R value we're going to multiply by 8.314 and I'm going to put instead of a joule after that R constant so that is the unit joule I'm going to show all of these units so that is a kilogram meter squared per second squared so that's my R and the T that is in the formula is our temperature in Kelvin that also goes in the numerator so if we multiply by 298 Kelvin and then we're going to divide by the molar mass with the molar mass we converted from grams per mole into kilograms per mole so that'll be a 0 0.032 kilograms per mole so looking at the units the kilogram here cancels that kilogram Oops, I lost the mole in the R. Yeah, I forgot those two units for R. So the joule is a kilogram meter per second squared. So that mole in Kelvin still needs to go down here. So the Kelvin in our R constant cancels that temperature Kelvin. The mole in the R constant cancels that mole. So when we do this calculation, we're going to take the square root of 3 times 8.314 times 298 divided by 0 0.032 and we'll be taking the square root of a meter squared per second squared and so our unit will end up just being in uh, meters per second so on the calculator I am going to take the square root first so I don't forget to do that on the TI calculator the square root symbol is right under the x squared symbol so if I take the square root and I just hit 3 times 8.314 times 298 and divide that by 0 0.032 get 481.9 so we'll call that 4 82 meters per second and that may not sound like it's very fast that's actually faster than the speed of sound sound travels at 343 meters per second just for fun we could convert this to miles per hour so if we take a, a meter and change that to a kilometer 1,000 meters is one kilometer and then a kilometer is smaller than a, so I think it's 1.609 kilometers for every one mile so now I'm converting this to miles per hour so that those of us that live in the United States our speed is in miles per hour generally so my meters and kilometers are gone then I'm gonna convert seconds to hours so 3600 seconds for every one hour then my seconds are going to cancel so if we calculate the speed of oxygen gas at room temperature I'm gonna leave that number in the calculator 481.9 divide by a thousand so if I divide that by a thousand and then I've got another denominator so I'm going to divide by 1.609 and multiply by 3600 1078 so that sounds a lot faster 1078 miles per hour so on average a gas at room temperature is traveling at about a thousand miles per hour most likely and definitely for my students the speed will be left in meters per second